today in New York City. And just now, a New York appeals court has agreed to slash the amount of the bond that Donald Trump must post to cover a 454 million civil fraud, or fraud verdict while he appeals it. So we're going to go from 454 to 175 million. Just 175 million now will be the portion. I say just, it's still a, a ton of cash. Thank you very much. Judge Ed Gorin has done a terrible disservice to the state of New York. What he's done is terrible. Businesses are fleeing. And you see that. We just released a statement on truth. Businesses are fleeing and crime is flourishing all over the state. And what he's done is such a disservice and should never be allowed to happen again. New York State is being battered by his decision. So I greatly respect the decision of the appellate division and I'll post either $175 billion in cash or bonds or security or whatever is necessary uh, very quickly within the 10 days. And I thank the appellate division for acting quickly. But Judge Endoran is a disgrace to this country, and this should not be allowed to happen. Thank you very much. Would you accept more money to pay the Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Teflon Don strikes again. Okay, President Donald J. Trump is truly Teflon because we have a bombshell ruling from the appeals court out in New York on the unconstitutional $454 million judgment bond that was issued by Miss Letitia James and the woke judge, Judge Aragon, out there in New York in regards to the business fraud trial that in and of itself is fraudulent, okay? Trump will not have to pay the $450 million judgment bond against him. He actually got it reduced down to significantly less okay and i want to talk about this because this is a very 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 good thing for trump because it seems like it is less likely that Letitia james is going to be able to seize his assets or that he will have to sell any of his assets to pay for this judgment bond while he appeals the unconstitutional uh ruling from the judge um as he goes throughout this process okay and i gotta tell you guys the left they're going to be upset about this. They're going to lose their minds over this. I mean, they were already coping over the fact that they considered Trump to be lucky, right? He's lucky that he continues to get away with all of his crimes, right? This is what they were talking about on Bill Maher's show just a couple days ago. No, he actually actually just got a... He, this guy is the luckiest guy in the world, but Trump Social... Uh, I mean, excuse me, Trump Social. It's, it's Trump Social, but True Social just got permission to go public. Right. And, I mean and so he's... he's it's his stake because it's a meme stock, a little like GameStop, um, is worth 3.5 billion. Is worth 3.5 billion dollars right now, and it could go higher if people bid it up. Um, so. He definitely made a deal with the devil at some something. Point. Something. Uh, because yeah. he always lucks out on everything. Yeah. He has I mean, the best enemies. Look at Michael Avenatti. Look at Fonnie Willis now in Georgia. The right. best enemies. Right. Just it helps him so much. And Merrick Garland fucked it all up. He's dithered for, th now we're probably not even going to see any of the trials. He just always lucks his way into everything. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I love the reactions from these people, okay, that their plans of trying to take down Trump just isn't working, okay? Trump's poll numbers continue to go up and up and up, okay? And Part of the reason why is because of political persecutions. And the fact that these political persecutions aren't working out the way that they planned, uh, again, it makes it all even more hilarious because the political persecutions in and of themselves are a primary reason why Trump's poll numbers are so high, right? So when you consider the fact that they aren't working, which is helping Trump, and they keep falling apart, which is part of the reason why they're not working, okay? His trials keep getting delayed. It's just hilarious, right? It's absolutely hilarious. Hilarious, okay? So without further ado, I actually want to play this news clip from MSNBC, who uh, is going to have an existential crisis over this, uh, in their explanation of what's going on here and what's happening so that you guys can get a better understanding of exactly uh, what is happening in this situation. Take a look. 
I want to bring in Vaughn Hilliard, who, of course, has been covering the Trump campaign and so much more for us. So, uh, Vaughn, any reaction here? And it's a surprise to many. Obviously, there were some back and forth going on behind the public scenes uh, for this to be able to be carried out uh, today at just uh, a little past 11 o'clock in the morning. Right. All of this played out literally as Donald Trump was walking out of the courtroom. As here, they go into recess uh, over this hearing over the documents related to Michael Cohen in the alleged hush money scheme criminal trial case. So we'll wait to see if Donald Trump has a reaction when he re-enters the courtroom about a half hour from now. Of course, over the last several weeks, this has been a point of much griping from not only Donald Trump, but his allies, even his son, Eric Trump, just yesterday, uh, noting that when he was going to uh, folks looking for uh, the initial bond of $450 million plus, he said that he was laughed at. This now $175 million bond is significantly lower. At the same time, the stakes are still high. This is still not an insignificant bond. And Donald Trump is either going to have to find an insured to agree to the terms uh, uh, that Donald Trump and the time Type of uh, a cash liquidity that he may personally have available to get that appeal bond, or perhaps be able to convince a major billionaire to front that cash in the form of a personal gift or a loan, uh, or potentially sell off one of his uh, uh, one of his properties. So the stakes are still very high for Donald Trump. Of course, these extra ten days provide him uh, 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 some buffer to continue that effort that had already been on the way uh, uh, in the works for the better part of uh, three weeks that had come up empty here today. The other part of this, it also puts a stay on barring Trump from serving as an executive of the Trump organization here in the state of New York. Uh, for Donald Trump here, you know, this is all colliding uh, simultaneously. But what this stay will allow him to do is effectively uh, be able to post a smaller bond. But also, of course, we will wait to hear uh, the timeline of the appeals court for them to actually hear his appeal. Donald Trump still contends that he believes that he will win on an appeal on the decision from Judge Ngoron. So this is high stakes, not only for him financially, but also the future of the Trump organization, Jose. I mean, I, I, honestly, this is so infuriating, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know if I care what the process is that these judges are arriving at. Whatever it is, it's flawed. I can tell you that much. I mean, da David put it well. It's This is a different process for, for, for this person. We have decided that he gets his own private court of justice. He has a private plane. He has a he has private clubs that he lives in. You know, apparently, you know, he he basically fashioned himself his own private militia to try to take over the Capitol. You know, now he's getting uh, his own private system of justice. This is an absolute travesty. It would not happen for anybody else. Anybody else, it would be like, sorry, buddy, you lost. Pay up. For him, he gets his own set of rules. Legally, Tristan, how is that done? We just saw it. They just decided that they just, you know, the appellate court has now just decided they're going to swoop in and just change it. And that's it. And now the uh, the AG's office can now try to go up above them, I believe. You know, I don't know what the details are because you just told us. I'm guessing this is coming from the first department, uh, appellate division, first department. That's the intermediate mm -hmm. court here in New York. Uh, that would be issuing a decision here. Uh, I don't know if there is a remedy for the AG's office to go up to uh, the Court of Appeals, which is our high court here in New York, and try to get them to uh, to basically countermand this order. Uh, but in my view, this is, without knowing more, unless there's some sort of other extenuating circumstance that we're going to learn here, this appears to be an absolute gross miscarriage of justice. So let's... Yeah, so you're seeing that, you heard that, okay? But the ultimate takeaway here is that Trump is going to have to post less money than the $454 million, which is a big deal because $454 million is a lot to ask anybody to pay, even a billionaire. Now, Trump is in real estate, okay? Real estate, the assets are illiquid, okay? Which means that they can't be turned into cash easily, okay? And because of that, Trump is having issues paying uh, at least allegedly, he may have the cash, he may not, but he's basically trying to say, look, I don't want to pay it. And I don't think he should have to pay it because I think that if he's forced to sell his properties in order to pay this, again, that 
brings up a lot of questions about restitution, right? How is he supposed to get those properties back if he wins his appeal? So the fact that he's been asked to pay this judgment is just ridiculous in and of itself, considering how the whole uh, trial is fraudulent. And now you have this appeals court basically saying that, okay, you don't have to pay as much. You only have to pay $175 million, which is still a lot, right? That's still a whole lot. But for Trump, it should be a lot easier to come up with that amount versus four hundred and. 54 million okay it's a big difference okay this is a big deal trump most likely definitely will be able to come up with 175 million uh and he has 10 days to do it again this is going to cause a massive meltdown in mainstream liberal media an appeals court slash former president trump's bond payment on monday saying trump must pay 175 million within the next 10 days trump had previously faced a monday deadline to pay 464 million uh bond payment that came as a result of civil fraud allegations from new york attorney general leticia james a New York appeals court hours before the deadline to post the $464 million lowered that bond considerably. The court ordered that Trump must uh, post $175 million within 10 days. Trump said he will abide by the appeals decision and post the $175 million bond. If Trump does post the $175 million by the new deadline, it would effectively block James from attempts to seize Trump's assets as he continues to appeal the judgment by New York Judge Arthur Aragon. Yeah. So basically what this does is that it allows Trump to post significantly less money. And if he can meet that standard, right, for what he needs to post, then Letitia James can't seize his assets. Right. So Trump not being able to meet the 464 million was a big deal because if he can't meet it, then Letitia James can move to seize Trump's assets to take away his iconic properties, which in my opinion would have backfired big time because if Letitia James would have started to seize Trump's properties. I think that would have locked up the election for Trump, right? So with that being said, uh, Trump being able to post a much smaller amount uh, is going to block Letitia James from doing that uh, and is going to allow him to keep his properties and he probably won't have to sell anything. Uh, quote, Judge Aragon has refused to obey the decision of the appellate division relative to the statute of limitations. This is a confrontation between a judge and those that rule above him. A very bad situation in which a place, New York State, and the rule of law. Aragon has disrespected the appellate decision and its very clear and precise ruling. Trump posted on his True Social Monday. He should be made to do so and at the same time release the gag order. Trump said the appeals ruling Monday is, quote, the fifth time in this case that he has been overturned a record. Trump blasted Judge Arthur Aragon saying, quote, his credibility and that of Letitia James has been shattered. Quote, we will abide by the decision of the appellate div division and post either a bond equivalent securities or cash, Trump said. This also shows how ridiculous and outrageous Aragon's original decision was at 450 million. Yeah, it was ridiculous, okay? And I'm glad that it got reduced. Again, I think that this basically makes it very, very, very unlikely we will see any type of seizure of Trump's assets, okay? I think Trump can definitely come up with 175 million. Uh, meanwhile, a spokesperson for James on Monday said Trump, quote, is still facing accountability for his staggering fraud. The court has already found that he engaged in years of fraud to in falsely inflate his net worth and unjustly uh, enrich himself, his family and his organization. James spokesperson said the 464 million judgment plus interest against Trump and the other uh, defendants still stands. Yeah, well, again, if he uh, ends up um you know actually losing the appeal then yeah that would come into play okay but by that point by that time he probably will have enough time to come up with the money right i mean this is really all about delay 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 right uh but i think that he's actually going to win because i think it's unconstitutional i think that this is a violation of the constitution uh to have this type of cool and unusual punishment for somebody i mean we've never seen this type of judgment against somebody and we all know that it's happening because of politics okay that's exactly uh what's going on here uh so trump uh in exclusive interview with fox digital said that you know he could afford to pay the 464 million he says that he has nearly 500 million in cash um he also uh has the uh ipo of uh trump media and technology group uh the parent company of true social that's set to go public uh, after a merger in which Trump could get nearly $54 billion in 
equity, okay, 78 million uh, shares or so of stock. Now, he's not going to be able to sell that stock immediately, but he could uh, get loans. Uh, he could leverage that stock in some way. He could definitely use that in order to come up with cash, right? So again, um, the mainstream liberal media, they're going to continue to melt down over the fact that Trump is getting richer and richer and richer while the political persecutions against him have failed, okay? And with Truth Social basically going public now, um, yeah, I mean, their plan to financially bankrupt Trump <laughs> basically just went down the drain, right? It just went down the drain. And then on the side of them trying to basically bar Trump from running for office, that's going down the drain. The Supreme Court has shot that down, okay? The Jack Smith cases, uh, that is being slow walked by the Supreme Court. The classified document case, that judge uh, that is presiding over that case, uh, she's essentially trying to slow walk that case as well too. And the mainstream liberal media can't stand that. Again, you know, none of these things are going as planned for the establishment and their persecution of Trump. And it is hilarious to see that plan fall apart while Trump continues to get richer and he continues to gain in the polls, right? This is absolutely hilarious. Their plans are backfiring big time. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.